Hey guys, geeking to everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about curl command in Linux. The curl command is a command line tool that helps transfer the data from the server to the client and vice versa. It uses the following protocols such as HTTP, SMTP, FTP, and POP3, etc. Curl is known to transfer multiple files at a time. You can see a syntax of this command right now on your screen. Sometimes curl is already installed in Linux by upgrading the packages. By default it's working, but if it's not installed, there is a simple installation method. If you want to check it out if curl is installed on your operational system, you can use this command curl, then double minus version and you can see there is a curl this version is installed on my operational system if you don't have this message that means curl is not installed on your operational system then you can install it by these commands firstly you have to update the packages on your operational system sudo apt update by this command you can update already existing packages so and then you can type and run this command sudo apt install curl so after this command curl should be successfully installed so and you can use it okay let's clear the terminal Let's see the manual of this command. You can use the man command to get a manual of command you specify. Man curl. On this manual you can see some information about this command, including name, synopsis, description, included options of this command. So don't hesitate to check this manual out. Also you can use a help option to get a info of curl command as well included syntax and information about options so let's clear the terminal let's check how this command work in practical way so let's type curl and then the URL Okay. So in the output you can see the HTML code of that specific website HTTPS www.linux.org So if you want to save this HTML code inside the file you can use this command Okay. As you can see, there is a file txt we created, and if you see the content inside this file, you can see HTML code for the linux.org. Let's clear the terminal. Next example, if you want to save the content of any website in the file, we already did that, but you can use it in different way to use a option of curl command. So it's a minus O option. Let's do that, curl. Then you specify a minus O option. It's a lowercase O then you have to specify the file where you want to save the content I call it file 2 ok as you can see there is another file created file 2 and inside 
this file, the content is HTML code of linux.org. If you want to save the file with the name of the default file, you can use a capital O option. The syntax is like that, curl, capital O, and then you specify a link where you want to download something like FTP, US, Debian, org, it's just an example, I'm not sure that this FTP link is working but I can just show you on this example, so if you run this command the curl created a file named example.deb and save all data from this file inside the file on our operational system okay next example if the download process of any file in your system has been stopped it can be resumed by using the curl command. This helps in the situation when you are trying to download the large files, but it's interrupted because of any reason. The syntax is like that, curl, then you specify capital C option O file for txt if you were downloading some info by curl and the process was interrupted you can resume this downloading process by using this option minus capital C and you can finish this downloading. Let's clear the terminal. So if you want to use a curl command for google.com it will be redirected to another page with specific text like the document has moved. Let's check it out. The document has moved Actually, curl command does not follow the HTTP location header by default. These are also known as redirects. When a website request is sent to another place than its original, then the HTTP location header is sent as response. So the request is moved to another document, but, but you can use a curl command with the capital L option. Okay, by capital L option you can insist that curl use the redirection. So to download the HTML of google.com you can use a minus L option. So next example it's headers of URL contain the key values that are detached with a colon. This key values contain some information like encoding, decoding, user information, type content, etc. etc. So if you want to get this info you can use a mi minus capital I option As you can see on output you get uh, some info, content type, permission policy, etc, etc. So next example, if you want to specify the rate limit of transferring data, 
you can use a minus limit rate option let's clear the terminal syntax is like that curl then limit rate it's a minus minus limit rate then you have to specify the rate so by this command I limited the speed up to one megabyte and then I specify minus all file 5 Okay. As you can see, there is a file file 5 txt where I downloaded HTML code of this site and I limited the speed up to 1 megabyte. Okay, thanks guys for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.